Hello guys, welcome to my first ever video on YouTube. Uh, so of course, it's the Diamant Capital Trading Channel. Um, I've been doing this for quite a while, both on Instagram and Telegram, but I still haven't gotten onto YouTube yet, just haven't had enough time yet. So I thought now was a perfect time for it. Um, I wanted to start off with something um, simple as an introduction to smart money concepts or the ultimate guide to smart money trading. Um, something that a few of you have requested to me on um, Instagram or in my DMs. Now, um, for those of you have, that have followed me for a while, or whether it's on Instagram or Telegram, you'll know the way I trade. It's smart money concepts for technical analysis, so something like this. However, I always pair it with fundamental analysis. Now, the reason for that is because, you know, I understand where the market is moving towards and why it's moving, most importantly. However, I don't want to get into any of that to, uh, today. Obviously, that's something that I teach uh, my students in the mentorship and a few fundamental breakdowns I've released to the public on Telegram. Um, all links to that in my Instagram, and I'm going to leave that in the YouTube link below. But for this video, I just want to focus on uh, just this quick introduction to smart money concepts. You know, whether you've been uh, doing it for a few months now or just getting into it now, maybe there's still a few points that you still uh, want to, you know, piece together and understand fully to get, you know, to understand the whole picture. I just want to explain that quickly in this video. So if we look at this case study right here, we've got GBP USD. This was around August to September time. So around mid-September is when we entered, but of course, all the analysis was based off uh, around this summer. A lot of fundamentals happened at the time, which caused all these major shifts in the market. Of course, that's uh, not something I'm going to explain fully now, maybe in the next few videos. Uh, but for now, I just want to explain, uh, you know, and really break it down for you guys, the most three simple steps that you need to understand smart money trading. Now, especially when I was uh, starting out on this journey, these were the three main uh, parts that I looked at. So the first one is market structure. Now, market structure is pretty much the most basic thing that every trader needs to know and is going to know pretty much in the beginning of their journey, whether it's uh, still through retail uh, trading, you know, with trend lines and support, resistance, everything like that. You still have a grasp for market structure and perhaps throughout your whole trading journey, this is the most important thing. Now, when it comes to market structure, what I usually do is I look on the higher time frame. Now, when I pair this with fundamentals, I have a clearer image, but let's just look at it technically. Now, uh, during 2021, we reached the high of the year around June time. GBP USD, eventually fundamentals changed. We started to see a break of structure or significant structure, especially this one right here, price broke down. Now, this is one confirmation that we want to start looking for sales. Now, if we look at this whole picture, what do we see? We start to see that we're going to start looking for sales because we're now in a downtrend. We, we broke structure down. We've retraced back up. However, haven't broken structure up to the upside. Hence why we're still looking for sales. Also fundamentals are back in this. Now, let's look at this point right here. When we got this break of structure down of significant structure, price came back up. However, didn't break any of that structure to the upside. Still confirming to us that we want to still be looking for sales. Another thing I just want to explain to you guys is this. When you're, when you're trading and you're looking for sales, for example, or looking for buys, but in this situation, you're looking for sales. You want to be, let's just say this is our range. You want to be looking for sales in the most premium areas. So these areas towards the top and you want to buy in the most discounted areas. Once you understand this, you'll, you'll understand which trades not to take and which trades to take. Because if you're selling too early, you're probably going to be taken out. For example, let's just say over here, you were trying to look for sales. No, price reacted down a bit, but you would have been taken at break even. Now you've got to understand the most premium areas is where you want to be looking for sales. So let's continue. Uh, we understand market structures to the downside. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're looking for sales. What can we identify next? The next point that I always identify is liquidity. Now, I want to briefly explain to you guys the three main types of liquidity that you want to look for. Now, the first type is this. The first type is when you've, uh, let's just say we're looking for sales in, in each type of buys. You've got equal lows in this case. So what that means is price will go back down, create a double bottom, come back up, 
not break structure to the upside, but then continue downwards. That's uh, known as equal lows. Then the second type if you, is you've got um, sell side liquidity. So this one right here. What sell side liquidity means is when price is going back down, price will instantly shoot up but not come back for any retracements pretty much. Once that happens, price will eventually come back down to take all the, st um, uh, all the stop losses just below where the buys took place. Now that's the second type of liquidity. The third type is one where we look at a retail trend line. Uh, price will you know, show these types of patterns sometimes. Eventually it may reach a point of interest below, react, retrace back down, and then come back to take all this liquidity to the upside right here. Okay, so now we know this. How can we use this in our analysis? So we've understood uh, market structure in this case study. Now we've got to look for liquidity. So let's see. From this point right here, we started selling. We started selling, 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 continued all the way up until this discounted area. Now, uh, this discounted area as well would have made sense for buys. However, I wasn't looking for that direction simply because my fundamental bias was against it. Um, so I always want to be aligned in both sides, technical and fundamental. But for this case, if you were looking for buys, you would have been correct as well. Price kept on going um, up and buying. However, as it was doing that, it was leaving liquidity to the downside. So we've got this equal low right here, this liquidity void that I'm going to get into in a different video another set of um, equal lows and then price stabilized at this point right here in the equilibrium of this range can we say so once that happened price created some equal highs so what that created was a bunch of liquidity resting just above then what price tends to do around this point if you've been um, looking into smart money concepts for quite a while you'll understand that once there is a buildup of liquidity right here what price tends to do is quickly snip into that area, into um, a nice point of interest, and then quickly uh, drop down, breaking some kind of structure down, and then you know you're in the downtrend, so you can keep holding your trade. So when it comes to liquidity, we've covered that point. We understand not only where liquidity is, but what price can tend to do around these points. So if you've identified that liquidity is at the, um, is at the top here, Okay, so are we saying that, yes, we're going to be buying? Of course, we can look for buys up until there. But then what will happen around that area? What will happen around that region? So the third point is entries. Now, this is going to be uh, possibly the most complicated part of technical analysis and smart money concepts, something that you do need to refine over time. However, it's going to be something that comes easier to you. Now, for this trade, eventually my GU trade hit 1 to 30. Um, the reason for that is because the entry was refined to a certain point of interest. This is something that I'm going to be going over in um, the videos to come. But for now, let's just understand the logic behind this trade and how I entered it just using the three main concepts or three main basic concepts of smart money. Eventually price it there and then kept on, uh, kept on dropping. Now, if somebody was to ask me, why didn't you hold this for uh, much longer? Personally, I like to take my money uh, where I can. Obviously, take, taking profit. So let's just say I took take profit one at this liquidity point here, there. And then my second point was at this point of interest. Because the thing is, you must understand that, of course, we're in the downtrend, but you can expect price to consolidate you know, from time to time. To time. So I do want to take uh, profits. Here, I felt it was a suitable point. It did reverse but eventually came back down um, to take this sell side liquidity that I was just talking about in part two right here. So this sell side liquidity came back down to take it. So yeah, guys, this is as simple as it gets. When it comes to smart money concepts, you really want to simplify it for yourself and break it down into, into the three main points. Of course, as it gets a bit more complicated when you're on the lower time frames. Here we're on the four hour, um, but I really, you know, I know a, a bunch of people that just trade on the one hour and the four hour. Personally, I trade towards uh, five minutes, sometimes even one minute, using the high time frame in mind, especially fundamentals to guide my uh, directional bias as well. But yeah, guys, it's as simple as that. Um, if you guys have any questions about this type of video or 
you know, anything you want me to show in the future, whether it's a case study like this, perhaps I can go through this in more depth in the next video or maybe a few of the other concepts on entries and uh, where exactly I enter and why I would enter, why I wouldn't enter. Any questions, just send them to my Instagram. Uh, this is my page, so the amount of capital. Um, yeah, it's been growing quite well recently. Been uploading quite a few case studies, but of course some educational posts as well recently. So I want to keep that going. And then of course, uh, my Telegram as well. Just over here. Yeah, 578 subscribers now. So recently just uploading some analysis for the week. Uh, of course, fundamental breakdown is going to be uploading that soon as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, any questions, send them over um, to my DMs on Instagram. And yeah, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care, guys.